Okay, Thomas, here we are then. We have a new manager of the Fairman Athletic. Before we get to why you've selected John Hughes, um, talk us through the process, first of all, the interview process, other people you spoke to. Um, how thorough was that process? So first of all, we determined a profile. So a profile which, which suits uh, now for the current situation because, to be honest, now we, the club is in a quite difficult situation. The club is struggling against relegation and that's a moment and I think till the end of the season there is only one objective just to avoid relegation and that is quite important at the moment so that was the reason why we, why we determined the profile. We searched a stabilizer but not only a stabilizer who can who make sure or where the probability is quite high to make sure that, that we stay in the championship and then under the right preconditions He's, he's going to be the guy who can develop the team to, to a better performance uh, in the next season. And I've already spoken to John, he said that the interview process was very demanding and very thorough, but I guess it needs to be when we're in this sort of difficult situation. Yes, yes of course, so, um, so it was quite interesting for me that uh, many, many, uh, we, we had many applications for this job, so that's uh, supposed to be done, Fernland is a quite interesting place to be, an interesting club uh, for many managers, and, so, and then we targeted uh, other candidates as well, and then we prepared a, a long list, just where we can where we decided which one we, we take for the interview and uh, we, we decided only to, to, to interview only a few managers and then yeah we try to, we try to find out uh, if he's the right person for the job, if he's the st stabilizer for the team and maybe the, the person who, uh, the manager who could develop things as well. And you know speaking to John, very passionate, very enthusiastic but I'm sure there are other qualities that shone through in the interview as well. Yes, of course. So uh, I think he, he can create an energy for the for the team, for the whole club, and uh, confidence is quite low at the moment. Uh, so we need to, what, the, the, we need more confidence in the team, and I think he's quite enthusiastic. He's a guy who is who's a motivator. That are quite uh, important criteria to to um, to uh, to. Um, to Gave, to, to give the players their confidence back and um, that's the reason why we, why we think he's the right manager at the right moment for this club. Now obviously we play in Verness this weekend, uh, Stephen and Greg have been preparing all week for that so they'll be taking charge of the game I guess on Saturday. Yes, so tomorrow when we are going to play the game against uh, Inverness, Stephen and Greg are in charge and uh, on Monday um, um, it will be the first training session for John. So, and uh, I'm happy to introduce John to the community, as it, uh, there may be some questions for, from friends to John. So, and uh, we try to make it as soon as possible to, to organize a meeting with all the fans uh, just to ask him questions. That's quite important at this stage because I think many fans have many questions to, to the responsible persons at the football club. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm guessing that will be uh, as soon as possible, uh, as you were saying. And you know, fans have obviously had a difficult time over the last few months. They're unhappy uh, with the way that's going. And obviously you, you, you and the rest of the panel decided that John is the correct person to take the team forward. Um, you touched on it there. Is John the person to take Dunfermline over the next few years, not just the next few months? Did you look at that as well? First of all, important now is to stabilize the situation. So that's the most important uh, point at the moment. So we need to secure that we are going to play next season in the championship. And then um, we, we, we can imagine that uh, he's, he's the right manager to develop a squad being better as he did it at other clubs at Falkirk, at Inverness, so and that's the big target we have and that's the desire we have for the future to work with a manager on the long term. And finally Thomas, I'm guessing you know John also said that he was he was impressed by you and the rest of the panel, the plans for the club, the ambition that you guys are showing. 
and I guess that will all sort of develop over the next few months as well. Yes, we do. we try to we try to build up a sustainable structure around the club, which which increase the uh, probability to be successful. We try to create an environment for playing successful football, and that now we think oh, we are going to have the right manager in the right place. He's very patient. He, he's so motivating, and it was quite I was quite impressed uh, how he how he uh, deal how he handled the interviews. So, Great, a great person and a quite some, and he's a fighter. You have to know he he, he has fight this all his whole life and he was a fighter on the pitch, and now he should fight for the club together with me, together with the uh, players, together with all the fans, just to make sure that we are going to play next season in the championship. Thanks very much, Thomas. Thanks.